Let me give you guys an example of how I unintentionally scare people. So, I had an ex-girlfriend named Johanna. She was over here in this basement with me. I'm blowed. I just got done freshly blowing a L. And I'm like, check this out. I grabbed her hand. I put her hand on my heart so she could feel how fucking fast my heart was beating. And I let her feel my heart, right? And she was like, you're scaring me. And she was, how she said it, she was dead serious. I'm like, that wasn't really my intention. I really was just trying to help her understand how it feels for me when I'm blow, when I'm high, since she didn't smoke weed. But it backfired. I scared her. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to scare you. I was just trying to get you to understand what it's like. And that's not to say that every person that smoke weed heart starts beating fast like mine. But mine does. On top of many other things I might talk about or I might not talk about. You know, it's not for everybody. So some people get to tweaking out and <laughs> calling the EMS. And you know, if you eat edibles, you might have a good idea what I'm talking about. But it's still not the same. It's the kind of high I get from smoking. Now, currently, I haven't been smoking. But doesn't change the fact I got many stories of... uh Things that other people would have to be driven to the hospital for that I just wait for it to die down. We not the same.